If your work is scattered across Microsoft 365, then Loop brings it all together in one app. And these are seven ways that you can use Loop in your daily workflows. So let's nerd out. Loop is Microsoft's collaborative app, and I have been using it since its public preview in 2023. And through my coaching sessions, my clients are learning how Loop solves the number one issue with Microsoft 365 by bringing together their notes, their tasks, their ideas, and their conversations into one shared space. Let's first take a look at the building blocks of Microsoft Loop. At the top level, we have workspaces, and we can think about these as being digital project rooms, each one having its own dedicated topic, client, or team. And then with inside of those workspaces, we have pages, which we can think about as areas within that room where we can organize our notes, our plans, our resources, and even brainstorm ideas. Then we can break those areas down even further with sub pages. And at the bottom level, we have Microsoft Loop Components, one of the most powerful tools within Loop which can be shared across other applications such as an email. And the best part is that they update in real time so that your team is always working on the most up-to-date information. These building blocks make Microsoft Loop flexible, collaborative, and easy to use. First, we are going to create a Loop workspace inside of a Teams channel. And this is a great way to collaborate with your team members because Everybody within that Teams channel will automatically gain access to the Loop workspace. And at Amy's Animal Shop, we are currently working on our online dog training course. So we are going to create a Loop workspace inside of this level two puppy training channel. We can head up to this plus icon. We can search for Loop and then select Loop and then save. And now we can give our workspace a name. So I would recommend making this something that is recognizable and you might even do a combination of the team and then the channel. So for example, you might call this the online dog training and then put a dash and then level two. You can select a cover photo from one of the stock images as well as add an emoji to keep it fun and then create. So you have just created your first Teams Connected workspace. And if you want to learn more about the Teams integration, then I've included a link to another tutorial in the description. Once your workspace is created, I recommend accessing Microsoft Loop from the browser as it will give you access to the full features. Number two is templates. So when we create a new page within a workspace, at the bottom, we can go to use a Loop template. And here we can see all of the pre-built templates within the Loop app that are not only fun and engaging, but they are the perfect way to kickstart any project and ensure that all of your content is consistent. And if you want to take this one step further, then we can hover over the page on the left navigation, select the ellipses and go save page as template. This allows you to create a custom template to tailor your recurring workflows. Number three is loop components. And to understand what a loop component is, it's best to see them in action. So let's start off by creating a loop component from this table. To get started, we can hover over the table and we'll see that little grid icon appear on the top left. So if we click that, then we can go down to create loop component. We will see a blue and purple box appear and once that finishes, then our component is ready to be shared. So we can go up to this little icon on the top right and go copy component. And now we can share it across other 365 apps like a Outlook email or a Teams chat or channel message. For demonstration purposes, I have an email pulled up here to send it to Mike. I'm going to go control V to paste that loop component and it's just going to take a minute for it to populate and pull on through. But once that's ready, we can now send that email and let's now pop into Mike's. So here we have Mike's email pulled up with that loop component and then my loop page is in the back. So let's watch loop components in action. Mike can go new. 
and we'll see that we are now collaborating in real time. This just demonstrates how loop components are a powerful tool and always ensure that everyone on your team is working on the most up-to-date and recent document. Number four is streamlined collaboration. And if you find yourself juggling conversations across Outlook and Teams, making it really difficult to figure out who said what and where, then Loop brings it all together, bringing your content and your conversations into one shared space. One of the easiest ways to collaborate with team members in Loop is by mentions. So to use a mention, we can press the at sign and then start to type their name. So this will pull up all of your team members and we can see Mike is available here. So if I click him, then I have now mentioned Mike. And as a side note, if the person here that you select has a little plus icon, then that means that they don't have access to this page and either you or somebody else in your organization will need to give them permissions. So now I can start to collaborate with Mike. When we mention team members, they will receive a notification within the Loop app and they'll also receive an email that embeds the entire Loop page as a Loop component within this email. And we can even see that that tag mentioned is even highlighted. So mentioning team members directly within Loop is a great way to kickstart collaboration. Number five is project management. When we manage projects within a team, it's easy to end up juggling multiple apps, one for your content and one for your tasks. But with Microsoft Loop, we can manage everything in one place. And the best part is that these tasks sync with Microsoft Planner as well as Microsoft To-Do so that your team can stay connected and have all of their content and their tasks available within one area. Let's start off by adding our first task list into this Microsoft Loop page. We will press the forward slash key and then we'll just start to type for task list. We can select it. and our task list has been added. So to add a task, we can simply type it in. So I will go record training videos and then to assign this task to a team member, we can simply click in this column here and all of the team members that are within this workspace will appear. So you can assign it to yourself or you can assign it to a different team member. Let's assign this to Mike. Then for the due date, we can click in here. That date picker will appear and we can select a due date. And then we have buckets and buckets are ways that we can categorize or group our tasks in bigger plans. In addition to the integration with Planner, the task list also integrates with the status area. And in my Loop course, we learn how to use the status area to manage a project within a Loop workspace where you can gain insights, track tasks, as well as milestones, and oversee team recaps all from within one dashboard. These are just a few of the tools available within Microsoft Loop to ensure that your project management workflows are connected. Number six is meeting notes. With the average professional spending about two hours per day in meetings, with Microsoft Loop, we can bring structure and action, ensuring that every meeting is productive. So when we create our meeting within Microsoft Teams, at the bottom here, we will see add an agenda. And now when we click on that, we will see that a loop component has been added to this meeting. And we already have a placeholder for an agenda, meeting notes, and these follow-up tasks are a task list like we just covered, but they are embedded within these Teams meeting notes. So when we create the meeting, we want to add an agenda and we'll see at the top here that we have topic, name, and then time allotted. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to add a placeholder agenda item for welcome. And then I'm going to mention Mike. So we'll press the at sign, search for Mike, and then select Mike. Now, because Mike has now been mentioned, he is going to receive a notification that I've mentioned him in these mini notes and he can start to collaborate with me in real time. Once you have your agenda in there, then we can send this meeting. During the meeting, we can access those meeting notes from the notes tab on the top. We can work through the agenda items, we can add additional notes, and we can even add a task list and add tasks as well as assign them to team members. 
After the meeting, we can access our meeting notes from within the Loop app under the meeting notes area on the left navigation. And then we can locate our meeting. Whether it's a one-time or recurring meeting, Microsoft Loop ensures that your meeting workflows are productive. Number seven is that Loop adapts to you. With a flexible canvas, you can structure your workspace to suit your team's goals. From structuring annual client review meetings, to managing projects, or using it as a task scheduler, these are just a few of the ways that my coaching clients are using Loop in their daily workflows. This video covers seven practical ways that you can use Microsoft Loop in your daily workflows, and they are all pulled directly from my Microsoft Loop for Business Professionals course. So if your work feels scattered across Microsoft 365, the Microsoft Loop brings it all together. You can follow the link here to learn more.